This video is a challenge for you as at the end of the CSS, Barba CSS tutorials, you should be able to create the animation to slide back to the homepage. And that's exactly what is your challenge. Of course, I will reveal it in this video how I did that. But I want to make sure you are learning while doing, while coding as well. So try to add the necessary transitions to the JavaScript file, the necessary styles as well, and do whatever you think needs to be done for us to be able to, when we click on the slide home, to slide across the current page, move it, move it away from the screen and bring the new page from the left. Okay, so based on all the other tutorials in this series, you should be able to do it. And now we will do it together. Alrighty, so the first thing to do, we need to clean up the first transition. So we'll reuse the first home transition. And we have some console logs here with that we will clean up. We we'll still want to use the home once transition. So we'll keep that in, but we'll remove the console logs. And, and then we'll want to make sure that this will use the sync method because we want to see the two containers on the page at the same time. So we turning the sync on and then we're using all three transitions. The ones stays as it was in the one of the first videos. And then we have the leave and enter hooks. And now we can create a transition for the container animating away and the container coming in. OK, so we'll start the way we started every other demo just to writing out the classes that Barba will generate for us. And as you know from all the other videos, it's always the name of the transition, the keyword or the hook is the second, and then it's either active or the end state using the two. Okay, the same thing for the home enter. We'll start by specifying the start of the leave transition. So the page that we animating away, we want to at the start, make sure that it stays where it is. So we will just give it transform translate zero. That's the starting value. And then we will in the home leave two, we will make sure that the ending position is all the way outside of the viewport. So we're translating it to translate X 100% that will move it away from the screen. And in the active class, we'll define the CSS transition. And that will be duration 0 0.7 seconds and easing that I'm taking from the CSS variables. Okay, so that doesn't really matter what the easing is. As long as we have transition on the active class and we'll do the same thing for the enter. For the page coming into a view, firstly, we want it to start away from the screen so we don't see it. So we're translating it by default to minus 100%, which will make it invisible for the user. And we want to animate it into transform translate zero. So at the end of the transition, it's in the middle of the viewport where the previous page was. So that's the ending state. And we need to, of course, make the incoming page position absolute, not active, <laughs> position absolute. So it's away from the viewport to the left and it animates next to the other page. Okay, so we need to position it absolute. Of course, there is other CSS we could use for this, but this would work position absolute top left zero. And again, for the active class, we need to define the transition so it slides and it animates, otherwise it would just be outside and then in the middle. Okay, so we copy the transition. Of course, some of these selectors using the same CSS, so we could combine them, but I think, especially when you're learning, it's good to see them grouped by the leave transition and enter transition. So here is the link. We're going from index or from viscover to index, which means we're going to the home namespace. So let's put that on the transition to and we're going to namespace home. OK, so that's the rule for this transition to be used. And if we save everything and view it in a browser, compiling works fine. 
we should be able to see some movement on the page. We've done everything correctly. Okay, so let's go through all the other transitions. And when we get to the whisk cover, now we should be sliding to home. And here is the transition. Okay, so it works fine. We've got the CSS class working. Let's go back, inspect it, and we can slow down the transition just to see that it's really kicking in. The current page animates away and the new page animates from the left in the middle of the viewport and then all the classes are removed. So that's how this slide transition was created. Of course, you can nest other elements into these classes and animate, fade out the content at the same time, do other CSS based on these top level classes. But as you know, JavaScript animations are a little bit more flexible. And that's exactly what we will cover in the second part of this course. We will look at how to work with Barba and JavaScript animations using GreenSock.